Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another core episode, core open alpha. Um, I didn't show something last time. So, last time we did this, um, I showed you the game, kind of how it starts and stuff. Uh, let's do a win amp, and I'm going to start some of my programming music in the background, because... It is programming time. I'm going to turn off my air. That way you can hear me. Come on. There you go. Good deal. So, just like Roblox, you can create your own things, you can create your own worlds, you can create your own games, okay? Big difference. In Roblox, you're open to express yourself. Uh-oh. Open to um, pretty much all the creativity that you want. And that's significant. Big difference here is if you create a new game, you have to go off of a, some kind of framework, a community project, or a new project. Uh, new project is blank. It's a blank canvas. You can do one of these. All right. So let's do a third person uh, battle royale, third person death match, King of the Hill. Keep in mind, I am brand new to all of this side of, of core, but I am. I'm significantly impressed. Third party empty project. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Game Jam Contest. Uh, project title is going to be Codes Layer. Why not? And I have no, no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> but right here is the, the start. So difficulty level four, minimum level four, boss, stone boss. In fact, let's just play it. I'll hit F5. Oh, no, no, uh, equals button. And here we go. So here's what it looks like. Weapons purchase shop and shop items here. Uh, it doesn't look like I've got any coins. Level 80 purchase costumes. Like these are all the, the stuff that's just ready to go. This portal leads to the official Dungeons and Dragons game contest hub world. This portal works once you publish your game with it. So. That actually would take us to, I think, yeah, unable to transfer outside the online mode. So, um, let's see, gameplay objects, what is this? Oh, that's poison, I guess. Oh yeah, I got poisoned. What's this? Bad, like, pollen flowers or something? Ooh, taking damage from that too. Can we open a chest? Bones. <laughs> and potions. Uh, I don't want to enter the dungeon. Let's go, let's go level one. Uh, can I purchase any of these things? I cannot, right? Oh wait, I might be able to purchase this stuff down here. I've already got a sword. So we've got uh, one H, one handed dagger. One-handed sword. Those are free. Levels one and two. So, item is already owned. How do I get to my inventory? What about like I? No. Uh, that's how to emote. Hmm. Okay. Let's go in the dungeon. So it gives you like a little test world. Oh, hello. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Stop. 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 What? Yay! Get loot bag. How how much does that give me? It give me five. Oh gosh! Did I just level up? I leveled up. Dungeons and Dragons, man. It's got D and D. Oh oh okay okay. Does it hurt you humanoids if you walk through it? Oh, they're doing the same thing. They're like, we're not walking through that stuff. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm about to die. Oh no, I, I got it. Yay. Get the loot bag. What is this? Oh no, that's hurt. We don't want to hurt. Okay, my actual life, like, increased. T 
teleport back to the lobby. Or... Can we go to the next level? Oh, oh, oh. Dungeon 1 boss. Yo! Don't take damage. Don't take damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Let's get to level 2. And... We can't do level 3 yet. That takes 30 coins in level 3. Right? Okay, can we speed through this? Hold on. Can I, can I drag the characters? Come on. Oh no, they've got an AOR. Area of return. Oh, but if I wait until they're outside that AOR and they start running away. Watch, 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 watch. Start running back, dude. Start running back. Start running back. Always like finding glitches. Oh, okay. He just he's gonna walk through the whole thing for me. Okay. And are you stuck? He's stuck. Sorry. You know me, I like playing video games more than I like programming them. <laughs> it's one of my many flaws, but at the same time, I, I like seeing the stuff that's going on inside video games. So uh, we missed uh yeah, there you are. There we go. Pick up five more coins. Oh gosh. Jump. No, there's nobody else, so boss fight. Here we go. Now this is supposed to hurt me, right? Does it hurt him at all? Oh. He's like running after me. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. No. <laughs> so that's here. Let's uh, hit escape. And did, did that stop the game? Yeah, that stopped the game. So there are, a, there's a lot more to, to the, the Unreal Engine. Uh, as far as, or to the core engine, as far as like building and things you can do. Um, scripting is still a really big thing. Uh, hold on. So, why are you only seeing that stuff? Hold on. Pause. Shift to start camera position. You're only seeing like the pop-up boxes. What? In the world. Hold on. Can I cut? Cut? Cut, cut, cut. Okay. What if we do Roblox Studio? There we go. That's something I already have set up. There we go. So, this should allow us to move around. And you kind of move it around the same way. WASD to, uh, to move. You can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. So, this right here is a cylinder client. And if we go in here, what does it have? Lifespan zero, it's a cylinder. Each one of these is like, the transform is the XYZ position and it's rotation and scale. So like if we increase the scale by two, right? It's bigger. Uh, control Z, Z. Control Z does not work, does it? Oh, there it is. It worked. So that cylinder is right here in the middle. That's what we're actually playing with. That's not this this box. This is a different box. That's a trigger. It's a client. But uh, this geo client itself, I think, is all one object, right? Yeah. So hit Control Z. We're gonna put that back. Um, round bottom. Hold on, we need to control Z all of this because I moved that cylinder somehow. There we go. I kind of wish I would uh, would have studied up on this a little bit. Because I have no clue about any of it. Uh, you should be able to like grab a wall. And you can you can move walls. Well, what did I grab? What was that? World text. 
<laughs> There's text on the wall. Nice. So we should be able to uh, change this to... Oh, and it takes H HTML script? Hold on. So can I do... Oh, my face is in the way. Hold on. Let's go back to Roblox Studio. I'll get my face out of the way here. Uh, can I stick myself down here in this little area? There we go. That should be fine. There we go. That way I'm I, I appear inside this little window and you can still see all the stuff around me. Uh, the only time that's going to become important is like whenever you need to see this stuff, which I'm still not really in the way of. So, um, Let's go back over to the world text. It looks like it takes BR, which means break. Uh, let's see if I can do bold. So. No, it doesn't take bold. Easy. Colors left, left to rule. Can I do another BR like that? But yeah, it still takes breaks. Uh, what about horizontal rules? No. Uh, H1, test, no. I'll have to experiment with that to see what HTML it actually takes or if it's even taking the HTML. The scripting, um, here. Let me go find a script. So here's the framework, game settings, UI settings. Hold on, why is the UI settings away over here? Oh, right there, okay. UI client context, player stats container, the ability container, the block ability display container. Ooh, there was a script, hold up. Boom. Copyright 2020 of the Manticore Games and Inc. Permission is hereby granted free of charge for any person obtaining the code, blah, 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 blah. So it's as is, but if you look, it's Lua. It's all Lua. So, there's a lot more functionality to it though. Whoa, a full screen editor? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that might just be me. I don't know if I can, can I dock this in somewhere? No, it's, it's full screen. So I could have it over here on like my second screen. If you have two screens. If not, um, I think we should be able to dock this in. There we go. Or right there. Because I, I never need like the full size. So if I close this and then I open it back up, does it pop over there? It does not. So if you want to dock it, grab the tab and just slap it in there like that. And then you can, you can still see the world, but you can program over here. So uh, this says progress panel equals script get custom property progress panel wait for object. So script is the same object that it's in get custom property. So right here, get custom property, right? Progress panel, progress panel block ability panel. So what does that mean? Progress image. I have no clue what that means. Block ability panel. Block ability panel. There it is. And then there's a progress image right there. <laughs> I bet that's, bet that's what it means. So this script get custom property. Do you like set the property on here or something? So the script itself has a transform. It has gameplay lifespan and it's got, uh, that's weird. Hold on, can I actually move this over some? What's the X, Y, Z coordinates? Hold on. Can I go like three, three, three? Where's, where's that ticket? I mean, I, I don't think the transform has any significance on an actual thing. Thank you, Franz Vital, for subscribing. We might go over the 15 minute mark. Uh, I just hit 15 minutes just now. Anyhow, 
I'm going to have to do some serious research and some some uh, reading up because I want to learn this. I want to create one of these Dungeons and Dragons maps, and I want to make an entry into it. I want to learn the scripting so bad, like that right here is just it's making me mad that I don't know this. Like I know Lua, I know Roblox Lua. See, print isn't even a function. Like, how do I how do I print something? Events connect block on blocking. This is very much more. It's a lot more in depth than I thought it was going to be. Initial width is the progress image dot width. Tick delta if is blocking, then local progress equals core math dot lerp. So that's a progress bar. I mean, that is what we're in, right? Maybe. I don't know. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of uh, Core. I'm not going to change, change the saves. I'm not going to save the changes. Thank you for watching this episode of uh, the Core Alpha, Open Alpha. Um, studio. I mean, this literally is like the first video. So please don't judge me. I have not looked into this at all. This is like the second day that I've even seen this stuff. Give me, give me some time. I'm going to go find their APIs. I'm going to go find their cores and I'm going to start reading up and hopefully I can teach you how to start creating your own video games, um, using the core sets. And I know that it's been debated that there's no way to increase or into to create your own items, but I've seen custom uploads. So I know it's there somewhere. I just got to go find it. All right. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. I'm so a lot at the end of the video. It's like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. Sorry. It wasn't Roblox. It's core. So I'm going to have fun with it. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon or a great day. Whatever the case. Outro.